ever wonder how some of the biggest creators in the world create their subtitles? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you how to auto transcribe text, how to create presets, and how to animate them in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we do anything, we want to auto transcribe our text using this really cool tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically, what this tool does is it converts your audio into text. And not only this, it actually matches the words you say with a corresponding timestamp. So there's two ways you can find this tool. You can either go to sequence and then auto transcribe sequence, or you can go over to window text. When transcribing, you'll have the option to select languages as well as which audio track you want to target. Now under transcript, you'll see the timestamp with the corresponding text that you said in the video. I'd say 80 to 90% of the time, it's pretty accurate. So if you do need to make changes, just double click and you'll be able to edit your text. Once you're done making adjustments, go ahead and click the CC icon and you'll see a bunch of different options that you can choose. A couple of things you can do is you can specify if you want one or two lines of subtitles. You can also set the minimum length of a subtitle. You can also set the maximum length and you can also choose from a preset that you've made. And I'm going to show you how to do that later in this video. After you press create, you'll see that there's a new track on your timeline that's not an audio track and that's not a video track. This track is actually your captions track and you can see all the different cuts are where all the different captions are. So if you click on on one you can actually change the style of it pretty easy go over to window and essential graphics and go over to edit and here you'll be able to choose the placement the color the fonts what you'll notice after creating a style for one of the text layers is it doesn't automatically update the other captions so what you have to do is you have to highlight the entire caption track and then change the style or what you can do is you can edit just one and create a new style or track style that you can apply to others so how you can do this is you can create your own style you want to select a font you can also select a zone which will just pin it to a certain position in the video if you're using this for subtitles you're probably going to do the middle bottom row you can also change the vertical and horizontal position in case you want something a little bit more specific so most youtubers will have a black stroke and here you can see i set it at 27 you can also change the color by clicking on the preview here and i can change it to any color i want and most youtubers will also have a slight shadow the stroke will add a border and the shadow will add a drop shadow these are the settings i would set for them and then once you're done go over to track style and click on it and then press create style one thing to keep in mind is once you save one of these track styles, they're only saved in the project. So if you make a new Adobe project for another video, it will not be saved and you'll have to create a new one again. If you don't want to spend too much time making your own presets, I actually have an entire preset pack with different popular subtitle text styles that you'll see on social media. So make sure to check the description for that. So one major downside of what I just showed you is that you actually can't animate any of these text layers. And the reason being is these subtitles are on the caption track and not the video track. So the workaround if you don't want to auto transcribe yourself is you just make a really big text layer and they make cuts that correspond with the captions. If you're going to do it this way, click on the type tool and click on the preview and just type in any text as a placeholder. Make sure it has the specific style and settings you want. Then press C on your keyboard for the razor tool and just make a cut. It should automatically snap into place. If it doesn't, press S on your keyboard and then just make cuts. And now click on the caption and just double click. And then just copy and paste with Command or Control C and Command or Control V. And then double click on the other text layer and paste it. And then repeat the process. So now that you're done transferring the captions onto the text layer, we can actually now animate it. You can have it slide up, you can have it pop. I'm gonna show you how to do the pop-up animation as this is probably the most popular one and the one that you see the most often. Go to effect controls and set a keyframe for the first frame. Then press the right arrow key on your keyboard three to five times. Every time you press the right arrow key, it moves one frame. Depending on how bouncy you want this animation, you're gonna have a different number. And then I'm gonna set a keyframe here as well. Right now it's going from 100 scale to 100 scale. So we're gonna change that. After setting the keyframes, you'll notice that there's a problem. The problem is the animation is starting all the way up here. So to fix this, click on anchor point. You'll see a circle pop up and you just wanna change the Y position so that it lines up with the circle. If you wanted to avoid this issue, you would center and vertically align your text in essential graphics so that you don't have to do this every time. Otherwise after you lined up your text with the anchor point go ahead and just move the position downwards and you'll see this little box and if you actually line up the box with your video it actually lines up perfectly to the previous position it was in now we're going to copy and paste our keyframes and we're going to flip them around so that we have an out animation as well after you've done that highlight all your keyframes right click and go to easy ease in and this will just make the animation a little bit more fluid next to apply this to all your other text layers click on vector motion and copy it and then highlight all your other text layers and paste and the keyframe should be pasted on the other text layers and now go through each text layer and move the last two keyframes to the very end 
I'm going to show you how to do the pop-up animation as this is probably the most popular one and the one that you see the most often. I actually have text animation presets made just for subtitles that you can check out. You can bundle this with the text styles that I mentioned before. It'll be in the description. That's about it for the video. I actually have a bunch of more Premiere Pro tutorials that you can check out if you're trying to become a better video editor. Just check this playlist right here. 